Um, okay. What's up guys, it's Shanice. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, my hair is in afro realness. I literally just washed my hair. It's kind of drying up right now, but I'm about to straighten it. But first, I need a blow dry. And I'm actually trying out a new device, a new blow drying system from Rev Air. And I'm super scared, super nervous to try this out because I haven't tried anything like this. I feel like it's a new concept as well. And I'm kind of nervous. Whew, we're gonna do this together. But before we get into this, if you are new, definitely join the family, hit that subscribe button, and also follow me on Instagram, cause why not? Yeah? Okay. So anyways, let's just hop right into this video. This huge, humongous blow dryer is from Rev Air. Ooh, it looks just like this. And this is the blow drying portion right here it is huge okay it is humongous so i'm just gonna read what this whole blow drying system has to say what it offers so it says it's a patent reverse air technology envelopes hair simultaneously drying it from root to end automatic tension effortlessly straightens hair while aligning strands and smoothing cuticles for a shiny frizz free finish so that is what it claims so anyway, I did already use this silk blowout. Um, this is a thermal primer cream from OGX. So this is to protect my hair from the heat. So I am gonna detangle my hair and I'm gonna spritz it with some water. And I kinda wanna make sure that my hair is a little bit damp to see if it actually dries my hair. My hair kind of like dried up cause I had to put on a whole face before I made this video. And y'all, this thing is the truth. I literally just got my hands on it and this is the 360 um, water bottle spray thing. Ooh, ASMR, y'all. Does that sound good? Anyways, I'm going to detangle. So my hair is pretty detangled. I'm gonna spritz it just a little bit more. I don't personally um, blow dry my hair on super wet hair, so I'm just gonna make sure that it's nice and damp. Whew, okay, so there's like seven little dial things on here, so I'm guessing that might be like the heat strength. I'm gonna start it on five and see what happens. So what you do is you put your hair in through here and it's gonna like suction or suck my hair up and it's supposed to dry like that. So I'm guessing all in here is like heat so, yeah. I literally felt nothing like no type of heat on the heat setting number five so I'm gonna boost it up to seven and see if this works better um, even though I had my hair in for probably about 25 30 seconds I should still like feel some type of you know heat coming through or something but I felt nothing so let's try this again Okay, so I had my hair in there for about a minute and it dried my hair pretty, pretty well, but I don't think my hair feels as soft as it usually feels if I use like a regular blow dryer. Like it kind of feels kind of hard, personally, in my opinion. Let me try to brush it out. It's not bad, once I brush it out, it feels a lot softer. 
but I'm still on the fence with I like blow drying better. I can say that it definitely dried my hair, even the roots. So you want to make sure that you're kind of getting like smaller pieces so you can get all the way to your roots. And I have to say, once I went to the dial number seven, that's when I actually felt like a good amount of heat on my hair. So I knew that it was actually going to do something for it. Oh, another thing is, is that it is super heavy. Like, oh my gosh, my, my arm was hurting after I was trying to like rest it on myself like this because it gets super, super heavy. This is a heavy ass product. So I'm going to move on to this section right here Woo! at the top. And this right here, I'm definitely gonna have to break up into two sections because it's really, really thick. So I'm gonna break it up into another section. Do you guys see how straight this got my hair? This got my hair super freaking straight. Holy crap. I don't have much to say. This is awesome. This did a really, really good job. And you really don't have to put your back into it. You don't have to do much work. You gotta put your arm into it, but you don't gotta put your back into it. You don't gotta like put tension and drag your hair. All you gotta do is chill. You can literally it's heavy you gotta sit like this and just chill i'm loving this do you guys see this oh my gosh wow highly impressed it did a really good job at first the very back i was like mm, unimpressed but when it came to the front of my hair i guess because i did smaller sections it hit the money on my head So I just finished, my arms are on fire, but so is my hair. My hair looks awesome, it looks great. I already feel like my hair freaking grew. <laughs> Not because of the red air, but just in general. Okay, so let me just hop into my final thoughts and my review about the rev air. So I guess we can start off with the cons. So firstly, this thing is very expensive. It is $400 and that's a lot of money. And it's only a blow dryer. Um, my Dyson on the other hand is a blow dryer and a diffuser so I could use it a lot more I would probably rarely ever use this the second con is, is that this thing is freaking heavy it is so heavy this power bank thing alone like 20 pounds this vacuum thingy majiggy right here super heavy my arms were freaking hurting um, so didn't like that and I just feel like there's just too much going on for one product. That's just my honest opinion. And then the last con I would definitely say is, I would say that my roots aren't as straight as they could be. It feels a little crimpy in the roots, which I don't like. Obviously, I feel like the roots are like the main part that you want to be like, you know, nice and smooth and frizz free because you know those are like the thickest parts of your hair so unfortunately even though my hair is dry it's not as smooth as I would want it to be on to the pros so overall I think this is an amazing device it did what it said it was gonna do it literally vacuumed my hair up and it dried it and it did a really good job at that it my hair feels really really soft it feels good at first i was like oh i'm not too sure about it but you do have to do smaller sections in order to get um good results i did about maybe six sections on each side and it 
worked really really well i also like that it has the heat settings on it so it goes from zero to seven which gives you a lot of options if you want cool air if you want hot air seven it gets really really hot so you have to like be aware of going like all the way to your roots for a long period of time because you will burn your scalp the last pro is is that i think you can definitely cut down your drying time by using this because it does get really nice and warm or hot at least and you literally can do one minute on each section so for me that would be what six 12 minutes to blow dry my entire head and i didn't really have to put much effort into it except for of course my arms i feel like if you're lazy this is gonna be a really good product for you but for 400 dollars I don't think so. So anyways, that wraps up this video. Let me know if there's any other products you guys would like me to try out and review. Would you guys buy this product for $400? Let me know in the comment section down below. Definitely give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and I will see you guys all in the next video. Oh yeah, and let me know what you guys think about my hair and how it turned out because I think that it looks quite awesome. It looks bomb to be honest. Woo! <laughs>